हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर सुरभि कपूर कंसल्टेंट जेनेटिसिस्ट हेगडे फर्टिलिटी टुडे आर टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज रोल ऑफ जेनेटिक्स इन एम्ब्रियो टेस्टिंग जेनेटिक्स अ बिग वर्ड दैट मेक्स अ बिग डिफरेंस आर जेनेटिक इन्फॉर्मेशन इज पैक्ड इनटू द स्ट्रिंग्स ऑफ डीएनए कॉल्ड एज क्रोमोसोम्स द अरेंजमेंट ऑफ जीन्स एंड क्रोमोसोम इन डीएनए डिपिक्स द जेनेटिक मेकअप ऑफ एन इंडिविजुअल any alteration in this genetic makeup of an individual can lead to an abnormal functioning of genes or a disturbed chromosomal pattern that can further lead to certain sort of genetic disorders or chromosomal abnormalities genetic testing on embryos is also known as pre implantation genetic testing on embryos these pre implantation genetic testing on embryos is basically of three types pgta PGT SR PGTN let us discuss one by one the role of genetic testing when and which genetic testing is new need to be applied or used on the embryos PGTA PGTA stands for pre implantation genetic testing for aneuploidy aneuploidy means abnormal count of chromosomes a normal human cell has 23 pair of chromosomes it is 46xx for females and 46xy for males at the time of fertilization when egg and sperm meet the sharing of genome happens means 50% chromosomes comes from the father side and 50% from the mother side but sometime due to low egg quality advanced maternal age poor sperm quality the division of gametes goes wrong unequal division of gametes happen that can lead to an abnormal count of chromosomes in an embryo in our routine ivf cycles we check the grading of embryo based on their morphology grade 1 grade 2 grade 3 but we are not sure how's the chromosomes inside what are the what is the genetic inside so at this time there can be a cause of implantation failure or miscarriages due to an abnormal count of chromosomes pgta helps in checking the count of chromosomes in early stage embryos prior to placing them in the uterus this pgta technique is usually advised to the couples who are in advanced maternal age have a history of recurrent implantation failures history of recurrent miscarriages or their previous pocs have have reported to have abnormal chromosomal abnormalities second comes pgt sr pre implantation genetic testing for structural rearrangement this advanced genetic testing is usually advised to the couples who have reported to have inherited chromosomal structural rearrangements identified in their karyotype as these couples or partner or individuals are at increased risk of having an embryos with abnormal count of chromosomes either with the gain of chromosomes or loss of chromosomes many type of structural rearrangements are there such as inversions duplications deletions pgtsr becomes a boon to these couples as they help identifying the embryos that are chromosomally normal and are not having any inherited chromosomal abnormality from the parents and thus minimizes the risk of miscarriages or having an abnormal child PGTSR is usually advised to the couples who are having inherited uh, or structural rearrangements identified in their karyotype now what comes here come what is the difference between a PGTA and PGTSR to which couple or to which patients we should advise PGTA or which patients we should advise PGTSR PGTA is usually advised to the couples to who are into advanced maternal age or have a history of implantation failures or miscarriages as it detects the spontaneous aneuploidies that can happen in the embryos pgtsr is usually advised to the couples who have reported structural rearrangement chromosomal structural rearrangements identified in their karyotype not the last not the last least but not the last comes the pgtm that is pre implantation genetic testing for monogenic disorders this advanced genetic testing is usually advised to the couples who are carrier or at the risk of transferring a genetic disease to their offsprings
This genetic testing help in genetic testing help in identifying the early stage embryos or detecting the uh, the target gene mutations in the embryos prior to placing them in the uterus, and thus minimizes the risk of having risk of transferring a genetic disease to the offspring. It is usually advised to the couples who have previously genetically affected any child in the family or uh, any in uh, sort of genetic disease. Uh, being inherited in the family or the couples who are at increased risk of having any genetic or the couples who are carrier for the genetic disease mutations so what we can say is that the pre implantation genetic testing on embryos helps couple to have to minimize the risk of having a child with the chromosomal disorders to many helps couples to minimize the risk of transferring a genetic disease to their offspring when they know they are at the increased risk of having any mutation so it is kind of a boon to the couples who are suffering from all these genetic issues thank you